hi guys you're welcome back to my channel if you're new here you're welcome my name is Otsi I create content on sewing tutorials and headwear if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much I really appreciate you in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys on how to cut and sew this beautiful luxury bubble it is very easy to make for this style I use four years of Damax fabric. So if this is what you would love to learn, please sit back, relax and enjoy the tutorial. And if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please hit the red button down below to subscribe to my channel and also click on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified. So without further ado, let's move right to the video the very first thing i like to do is to mark the wrong side of the fabric then after that i'm going to fold my fabric into four and neatly place it on the table i measured neck width three inches neck depth for the back one inch neck depth for the front eight inches at that 8 inches, I measured 2 inches inward. Then I connect to the neck width. With my straight ruler, I connect from the front neck depth to the neck width, like so. From the center back to where my sleeve length will be, I measured 24 inches. For my sleeve opening, I measured 11 inches. Shoulder to my hip line is 25 inches. Shoulder to the hem of my dress is 63 inches, including hemming allowance. On the hip line, I'm going to impute hip measurement divided by 4 plus 3 inches. I'm going to impute the same measurement to the hem of my dress and I'm going to connect that into a straight line. The total wideness that I use is 16 inches. That's my hip line. Then shoulder to my knee length is 42 inches. That's my knee length then i'm going to find the midpoint between my hip line and the knee length i'm going to mark the midpoint i'm going to rule a straight line Then from the sleeve opening, I'm going to come in by 3 inches. Then from that 3 inches, I'm going to draw my curl shape to the midpoint between the hip and the knee, like so. That's about it for the drafting of the bubble. The next thing to do is to cut it out.
I'm cutting the back neckline first. The sleeve opening. Then the body. Next is to mark my waist measurement where I'm going to sew my rope. Shoulder to my waist is 16 and a half inches. I impute my waist measurement divided by 4 and mark it. Then I insert a pin to the mark in order for me to mark the other side of it. So this is the way I normally mark for my waistline. On the wrong side then later I'm going to attach a rope to it in order to snatch my waist which is absolutely optional so the next thing to do I'm going to spread it open this way in order for me to cut the front neckline spread it open and arrange it nicely I'm going to continue with the 2 inches mark from the neck depth. I'm going to continue marking 2 inches till I get to the M of the dress. I'm going to rule that into a straight line. After that, I'm going to cut on the 2 inches mark. I'm going to start cutting from the 2 inches mark till I get to the neckline. That's my shoulder line. I marked my shoulder line and I also marked my neck depth and notch it. This is how it looks after cutting. Next, from the end of the dress, I'm going to start measuring for the lapel, for the length of the lapel, I'm going to sew to the front. I'll measure like so, through to the other end of the front bodies. Then I'll take note of the measurement. Next. From the leftover fabric, I'm going to cut out band height of 5 inches, then the length of the front that I just measured. For the lapel, I'm measuring band height of 5 inches. After cutting it out, I'm going to fold it into two, which will now give me 2.5 inches. Then I'll give it a good press.
the length is long enough to go round the front neckline. Next, I'll fold it into two, give it a good press and sew it to the bodies. I'll start from the M, then I'll sew it through to the neckline and to the other side as well. I'll start from the lower part. Right side facing each other. I'll place it like so and sew it straight down. From the same leftover fabric, I'm cutting for my rope. I'm cutting long strip for my rope to tie around my waist. For this, I measured 4 inches by 35 inches in length. You can use any length of your choice. This is for my rope, so I'm going to fold it into two, sew it and turn it inside out. Let me quickly sew them then I will show us the next step to take. I've sewn the band to the front as you can see. I'm going to trim out the excess fabric later. This is how it looks. I've sewn it. I sew it from the M through to the neck and through to the other side of the front. This is how it looks. Next is to overlap the lapel and stitch on top of each other straight down measure your neck depth from the shoulder then let the crossing start from the neck depth you will pin it down you will overlap the lapel on top of each other starting from the neck depth you will pin it down then take to your sewing machine and top stitch on it straight down. Next, you will locate the shoulder line. From the neckline, I measured 5 inches away from the neckline I measured 5 inches on the other side as well
from that five inches measure another five inches then find the midpoint between the first five inches and the second five inches which is 2.5 mark on the midpoint then pinch on the 2.5 then fold it and pin it down the height of my pleats around the shoulder is 2.5 2.5 inches then I pin it down I'm going to repeat this same process on the other side as well Next, I marked my shoulder line. That's my shoulder line. Then, the shoulder line will serve as a midpoint for me. I marked 2 inches upward and 2 inches downward. The total length, I have 4 inches. So, I want my stitching to be 4 inches in length. I don't want it to pass that 4 inches. I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side as well. Before I will stitch it down, I'll take to my ironing table and give it a good press. The stitching is going to be around my shoulder. I don't want it to be more than 4 inches length. You can make yours to be more than that, but I don't want the stitching to come to the front. So I'm going to repeat the same process on the other side as well so I'm moving to the other side to repeat the same thing that is my shoulder I'm going to measure five inches from the first five inches I will measure another five inches then I mark the midpoint which is 2.5 I pinch on the midpoint to fold pleating of 2.5 inches in height. I measure it to be sure that I have 2.5 then I pin it down. I measure to make sure that my pleat height is the same 2.5 before pinning it down so the next thing I'm going to do after pinning it down I'm going to give it a good press after giving it a good press then I'm going to stitch around the shoulder I'm going to make my stitch line to be the length of 4 inches I don't want to exceed the 4 inches So I'll take to my sewing machine and sew the length of 4 inches. After that, I'm going to give it a good press.
and stitch it down this is how it looks so the next thing to do is to end the sleeve opening then I'm going to sew my belt I'm going to attach the belt to the waist after that I'm going to sew the sides and aim the lower parts that's about it for today's tutorial this is the final look guys we've come to an end of today's tutorial if you find my tutorial helpful please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you've not done so I upload weekly tutorial on my channel also remember to click on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video you will be notified until I come your way next please stay safe and remain blessed thanks for watching I love you all bye